Hey guys, my name is Timmy Gregson. I'm an automotive photographer based out of Kelowna, BC. And I'm Robert Hurd, general manager of the Porsche Center here in Kelowna. And Robert and I had a meeting about six months ago about starting a project with the new Porsche Taycan. The most commonly asked question is whether or not we can get from Kelowna to downtown Vancouver on a single charge. So this weekend, we've uh, set out to document and get the Taycan down from Kelowna all the way down to downtown Vancouver on a single charge. Let's go. Let's do it. Before you guys head out on the road, we're going to go over some of the key elements about the Taycan that I really enjoy. My name is Evan Cross, let's dive into it. The overall road presence of the Taycan is what really brings these key elements together. Between the four-point LED headlights, the wide and aggressive front fascia, to the sweeping rear LED taillights, be sure to not miss the Taycan out on the road. However, I'll let you be the judge of that. that two percent just going up that little hill down two so, percent yeah oh wow was it a choice to go to the porsche dealership or was it an opportunity that you jumped on and it just so happened to be porsche it was an opportunity that was presented to me i um i grew up with uh the wyants when in the porsche dealership was opening up i was hopeful to move closer to family so that i could come back down to vancouver like we're doing one thing too that i really like about this car is how quiet the cabin is like oh, yeah. you can't hear anything outside. No. So, we made it 200 kilometers so far. How's the drive? It's been fantastic. Yeah, everything's been great so far. And the range on the car coming up over the first part of the Coca Isla, how's that been? I uh, definitely the battery was going down a little bit. The charge was going down a little bit quicker than I had expected it to. But also we've seen a lot of regeneration. I've been able to really kind of glide down the hills at a good speed, uh, which has allowed us to just go through the battery life a little slower. As for the ride, how's the comfort? I know it's been a short drive so far, but it's fantastic. Uh, you know, Porsche does a great job with the details of every vehicle that they build. It's uh, it's something that they've done forever, uh, and the Taycan is no exception. Well, all that being said, um, how are you looking forward to the rest of the drive? You think you're going to make it on the range that we got? Yeah, I think we're going to be good there. We've got a little under 50%. Um, we've got some downhills left to go. Uh, keep that regeneration going. Uh, get through the Fraser Valley and get us down to downtown Vancouver. Well, let's hit the road. Sounds good. So we're just outside the lower mainland now. We've been about 300 kilometers. We pulled off the highway to this gorgeous bird sanctuary. Wanted to check in on how you're doing, how the car doing. How's the trip so far? We're doing great. We've got 37% battery life left, um, about 100 kilometers. So I feel great about getting there. Uh, we are coming into a bit of a different stretch we haven't done before, and that's going to be the traffic. So we'll see how it uh, handles the traffic moving into downtown Vancouver. When you first got into Porsche, was that your favorite brand? At the time, no, it wasn't. Um, I was always a domestic guy, Ford specifically, but now being in the brand, being part of the brand and all that entails, um, I've grown such a huge appreciation for it. Um, I'm in love with all the cars, specifically the 911, uh, that I am fortunate enough to be able to drive on a daily basis. Um, but no, the brand's just fantastic. It's, uh, it's very much a pleasure and I'm very lucky to be part of it. All right, well, we're almost there. Let's see how it performs in the last 100K. Let's go. Let's go. So we made it. We did, yep. We made it all the way from Kelowna to downtown Vancouver, Canada Place on a single charge. How long was the journey? Uh, we just, just over five hours it took us. Uh, hit a lot of traffic coming out of Kelowna. And of course, coming in through the Fraser Valley, a lot of traffic there as well. That's to be expected. Yeah. Um, how much charge was left on this when we got back into Vancouver? We made it with 16% battery life left. 
uh, and about 87 kilometers of range. Nice. Yeah. Is that more than Porsche says they're supposed to go? Far exceeded the EPA ratings or the estimates that were put out there. Uh, it was in the high threes. So we beat it, you know, around 100 kilometers extra. So is that a common question for people coming in curious in this car, if they can make it to Vancouver on one charge? It's the number one question that we get. Um, Kelowna being a little bit separated from basically everything around us, as well as the, the mountain hills, the range that you have to go through. Uh, everybody's number one question is, can they make it to Vancouver on a single charge? So we took the Taycan 4S, uh, set out from Kelowna with 100% battery to see exactly what it looked like to get from Kelowna to Vancouver. Uh, and of course, documented it along the way. So, Timmy, we, we made it. Uh, I just wanted to thank you so much for joining me on this journey with the, the new Taycan 4S uh, to see if we could make it in one single charge. So thank you very much. Hey, I appreciate yeah. the opportunity, man. Being able to get to be one of the first people to experience this car on a road like the Coquihalla in such a gorgeous spot of BC, couldn't be more thankful for that. So yeah. thank you. It was a blast. We did it. We've got some good footage to show our customers. So uh, yeah, great success. I'll say so.